All right, guys, welcome to another fascinating tutorial. This is going to blow your mind. Actually, not really. But anyways, I thought, you know, I'd kind of build it up a little bit. And in this video, I want to start off talking about strings and variables and how to make multiple line string variables. Sounds pretty fun, huh? So basically, we know that we can have strings as variables. And, you know, you can also set variables equal to strings and use them in methods. So let me go ahead and show you guys an example. Let's make a variable called b. And aside from just writing a number or a value, we can actually set this equal to the string bacon. Now, instead of just, you know, using a string with a method on it, we can actually use that variable such as this. Puts uh, you are correct explanation point if b reverse double equal sign what's bacon no cab Did you guys know that that bacon in reverse was no cab so basically unlike before where we just use that string and then put a method on it we can now use the variable which represents the string and we can run it inside the program so we're saying okay print out on the screen you are correct if the reverse of bacon equals no cap does it yes it does so there you go and uh... you know that's just a simple explanation of how you can use strings as variables but you guys probably knew that already what i want to teach you guys in this tutorial is how to make a multiple line string variable so whenever you want to make a string variable and it's really long like maybe a paragraph or something that takes up multiple lines you can use the double less than sign to take up multiple lines so let me go ahead and show you guys an example so say we made a variable called tuna why because i love tuna but we know that the string variable is going to take up multiple lines so in order to give it a starting point and an ending point we need to use the double less than sign to mark the beginning and the end of the string so go ahead and write a mini marker i'm just going to name mine mark you don't have to you can name it anything you want and this word mark is going to mark the beginning and the end of our string so go ahead and hit enter and check it out it gives you these little parentheses and these parentheses pretty much symbolize the beginning so write hello my name is Bucky I love ham and bacon and then whenever we wanna pretty much end our uh, variable just go ahead and type in mark again now whenever it sees the word mark it knows okay this is my symbol to pretty much end this variable so now our variable is hello my name is Bucky and I love bacon and by the way you're saying whoa whoa this looks pretty good but heck, what the heck are these backslash n things well in computer programming backslash n means new line so basically whenever you see this it pretty much means okay go to a new line so let me go ahead and just put wow spelled that wrong puts tuna on the screen and check it out it says hello my name is Bucky I love ham and bacon and there you go so just remember that whenever you want to make a multiple line string variable you need to give it a starting point and an ending point and you do this by symbolizing the word that you're going to use for your starting point and ending point with double less than signs now after that just go ahead and write whatever variable you want to use and then whenever you use it it marks the end of your string variable so there you go for this tutorial hopefully you know well I'm pretty sure I confused you guys enough for now so I'll give you a break and once you decided that you want some more damage then go ahead and to move on to my uh, next tutorial where I'm gonna be talking about interpolation using expressions inside strings so anyways thank you guys for watching I'll shut up now and I'll see you next video